anywhere, do thanks. You bought out the store. Most of the clothes are for Lucy. I'll be taking them back tomorrow. Why? Well, one will be like something Melissa has. Another will be something Lucy wouldn't be caught dead in. Another will be in a color that hasn't been in since Tuesday. <laughs> then why do you bother? So I'll get mad, take them back, and buy something for myself. Oh. Now, that is something that I don't like about California so far. The motorcycles, guys in black jackets with hot mamas hanging on behind them. Lucy Jennifer McNeil, you get in here right now. I'll just slip out the back. I've already been through one war. Lucy, in, in, in the house. Mom, please, you embarrassed me. Go on. How many times have I told you never, never, ride on a motorcycle. Never. It hasn't come up before. Well, you know how I feel about motorcycles and how dangerous they are. But I had to. The Hell's Angel forced you? He's not a Hell's Angel. That's Tom Clark. And if I didn't let him take me home, he would have taken Melissa. Well, dial 911. <laughs> Lucy, add this to the rule book. You do not ride on a motorcycle. Mom. And now, who is this guy, Tom Clark, you're willing to risk your life for? Everybody knows Tom. I've told you about him. Quarterback on the football team. Oh, right. He's kind of Melissa's boyfriend. So what are you doing on his motorcycle? I think he kind of likes me. Melissa isn't going to like that. Yeah, I feel real bad about that. <laughs> Poor Melissa. That only leaves her with 14 other boyfriends. Yeah, well... Before you get ahead of yourself, I have to remind you, you can't date. Mom, I'm 14, and that rule goes back to when I was 12. And it goes forward till you're 16. But that's not fair. I'm ready now. That's the reason. <laughs> I know it's hard to understand, but there's a reason for all these rules. Oh, no. He went back and got Melissa. Oh, honey. I know how you're feeling. When I was your age, I used to think that my mother was the cruelest woman on the face of the earth. And then I found out that she thought that her mother was the cruelest woman on the face of the earth. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's in the jeans. <laughs> I'm dead. Melissa wins. Seems like I always lose out. Of course, there's nothing that says that you can't invite him over to help him with geometry. The least that I could do is ask him to stay for dinner. Mom, he's past geometry. Okay. Then ask him over so you can help him with trigonometry. He gets A's in trigonometry. Okay, then ask him over so you can help you with trigonometry. I don't take trigonometry. Lucy, I'm just giving you examples. <laughs> I'm trying to help you get around me. Get him on your turf. Ask him over for dinner. I don't want him to think I'm eager. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So you're Tom. I'm Lucy's mother. It's nice to meet you. Come on in. Thank you. Can I take your jacket? Thanks. There you go. Lucy will be down in a minute. This is a great idea. Never heard of it till Lucy told me. Of what? This is half a stranger to dinner week. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very big in New York. Have a seat. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't hear your motorcycle. Oh, uh, I don't ride it too often. I like to drive my father's Oldsmobile. Lucy warned you, huh? Yeah. Well, I appreciate the sacrifice. So, you're the quarterback. Yes, ma'am. Did you have a good season? Uh, four wins, six losses. It's my best losing season ever. Well, they say you learn a lot more from losing than winning. Uh, then I ought to be a genius by now. <laughs> Tom? Hi, Lucy. Oh, I see you liked your new outfit. Oh, yeah, I love it. Thanks. Everything else can go back. 
So my husband, Lucy, and I were up in the tree, and all we could do was sit there and watch this bear eat our dinner. Huh. <laughs> I still swear I saw this bear put this squeeze of lemon over the trout. <laughs> <laughs> of course, with my husband gone, we don't go camping anymore, but I sure loved it. I hated it. I'm with your mother. I love it. Of course I was young then. <laughs> now I love the outdoor life. Anyone for thirds? Uh, no, thank you. <clears throat> Lucy told me you're one of the Radio City Rockettes. Is that true? Yeah. I used to do a mean kick. Uh, it's hard to visualize right now. <laughs> Tom, I hear you bought a jet ski. Yeah. How'd you get started dancing? Oh, the usual way. I was four. My mother thought it was the most precious thing that ever happened, and she shuffled me off to ballet lessons. Jet skis look like fun. Yeah. Here, let me help you, Miss McNeil. Thank you, Tom. I'd love to learn how to ride this summer. Oh, my pleasure, too. I wish somebody give me dance lessons. I can't dance at all. Hey, I got a great idea. Mom could teach you how to dance. We could do it all right here. And I'd even be willing to practice with you. How about it, Mom? That'd be nice. <laughs> well... <laughs> okay, why not? Great! We'll take long once or twice a week for six or seven months. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tom, you're the guest. I'll get the dessert and bring it out in the living room. I'll get it. Melissa. Hi, Luce. May I come in? No. Oh, Tom. What a surprise. I didn't know you were here. Sure. The McNeils asked me over. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. You are. Bye. Well, here it is, the famous Anne McNeil pineapple upside down cake. Mrs. McNeil, how nice to see you. Melissa, where'd you come from? Under a rock. Mmm. <laughs> that cake looks so good. After my walk, I sure could use something sweet for energy. Oh, well, uh, sure. I'll cut you a slice. To go. <laughs> Tom? <laughs> Doorbell. Mom, could you get that? I'm slicing the cake. I'll help you serve. <laughs> okay, okay. Kaz, what are you doing here? I just happened to be living next door and I thought I'd drop in. <laughs> Melissa, what are you doing here? That seat is reserved. I suppose your lap is out of the question. <laughs> there you go, honey. Wow, that looks great. I'll cut you a slice. Doorbell. I don't believe this. Hi, Duke. Hi, Lucy. I was worried about Cassia. Oh, there you are. Are you okay, son? Sure, Grandpa. Good. He saw this young lady coming down the walk and fell out of his window. <laughs> Go, Kaz. Mm, mm, mm. I'll cut you a slice. Thanks. Tom, you know how afraid I am of the dark. Could you drive me home later? Well, it was a real pleasure meeting you, Tom. Uh, the pleasure was mine. Yes, thank you, Mrs. McNeil. You're welcome. It's my mother. What is she doing here? Oh, I'm sorry, I completely forgot. I called your mother to tell you were afraid to walk home alone in the dark, and she insisted on picking you up. <laughs> How very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it was a good thought. <laughs> all right, all right! <clears throat> <clears throat> well, thanks for everything, Miss McNeil. <laughs> you made me feel really welcome. It's like I've known you forever. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tom. Good night. Lucy, time to get to those dishes. In a minute, Mom. 
But I'm not doing Melissa's dish. Hey, come on. Melissa has her good points. Name one. Well, she's beautiful. She's exciting. She's great for the ego. She... I only asked for one. <laughs> there's a lot of things that you have that she doesn't have. Name as many as you want. Well, you're very bright. You're funny. You're easy to talk with. You give a guy kind of a warm feeling. Thank you. <laughs> I guess the absolute ideal woman would be the combination of both of you. Now, that would be somebody really special. <sighs> like your mother. <laughs> no, I mean it. The way he was talking about you was like, like he loves you or something. Don't be ridiculous. Why can't you be like a normal mother? Why do you have to be so cute? <laughs> Mommy's talking about me and Melissa using words like beautiful, exciting, bright, easy to be with. But then he said the combination of the both of us, the absolute ideal woman, would be you. So what is it you disagree with? <laughs> Not funny, Mom. You know, I thought Melissa was my competition. Turns out to be my own mother. Oh, come on, get real. You monopolized the whole dinner conversation. I hardly got to say anything. And he was always looking at you. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Wipe. Well, you must have done something. You could at least share it with me so I can start practicing in case I ever get another boyfriend who I won't bring home. <laughs> Lucy, put this in your encyclopedia on boys. If a boy likes you and he's smart, he'll butter up your mother. And I must say, he did a rather good job of it. Wipe. I don't believe this. You're the mother. You're supposed to be guiding me. And you don't even know what's happening in the world. Yeah, what's happening in the world? Don't you ever watch Donahue or Oprah? Oh, that world. <laughs> well, they say the trend of older women attracting younger men is going to explode in the 90s. I mean, look at Cher. She's always going with younger guys. Not 16-year-olds. I don't think. <laughs> Thank you very much. Come again. Oh, Robin, we haven't had an inventory for a while. Would you take a count and see what we have to order? Can I be trusted with a job like that? <laughs> Robin, you're very capable. You're an A student. Well, that's in school. Counting muffins is real life. <laughs> I don't know if I could take the pressure. This is very simple inventory. You can do it. Well, I have complete faith in you. There's that pressure again. <laughs> Hi, Miss McNeil. Hi, Tom. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Have you ever seen that ballet, The Nutcracker Suite? Only about 20 times. Uh, Why? Well, it's playing in San Francisco, and I was thinking of going. I've never been to the ballet before. Oh, well, then you should definitely go and see those dancers. Talk about athletes. They're the best there is. So you think I'd enjoy it? Oh, I'm sure you would. If there's something you feel you want to do, do it. Excuse me. You're right. Okay. Well, I've got two tickets. Would you go with me? <gasps> <laughs> me? Hey, you know all about the ballet, so you can explain things to me. Besides, I want to go with you. <laughs> Gee, Tom, I, I... Oh, pardon me. I'm in a hurry. Can I get some muffins, please? Of course. Tom, I... Uh, six blueberry, six bran, three lemon. Six blueberry, six bran, three lemon. Mm. Excuse me, Tom. We can talk about it tonight. Tonight? Yeah, remember? You're gonna teach me to dance. <laughs> Hi, Doug. What can I do for you? It's what I can do for you. Here. What's this for? You're going to need this if you're going all the way to San Francisco on a motorcycle. Oh, my God. How did you hear about that? Well, I was getting a haircut this afternoon, and Charlie the Barber said he had lunch with Eddie Brown, the mortician. Eddie's brother, Harold, he cuts the grass at Robin's house. Oh, Robin, that's just great. Yeah, the guys at the barber shop, they really had a laugh about it. Oh, they did? Well, if they want to laugh, they ought to take a look at the haircuts they're getting. <laughs> Mom, we need to talk. I'll do the talking. 
Mrs. McNeil, I am shocked. So am I. <laughs> Instead of robbing the cradle, why don't you go on with men your own age? You're still a relatively attractive woman. <laughs> That's about as faint as praise gets. Yeah. <laughs> Robin told me everything. She told me, too. Hey, I just saw Robin and... Where is she? On a street corner with a bullhorn? <laughs> Out. But Out. Wait. Now, listen, you two, all of... Tonight, tomorrow night, or any other night. Really? What's wrong with him? <sighs> Nothing, except he's 16 years old. Yeah, but Oprah says... Then let Oprah go out with him. <laughs> okay, he's got a crush. My job is to end it. When you do end it, be sure to dump him in my direction. <laughs> Fat chance! He loved me first. You loved you first. <laughs> Look, Lucy, talk I... about rotten days. <sighs> Here. You better put this on. It's getting chilly. Not chilly for you. You've got my love to keep you warm. <laughs> <sighs> Honey, I owe you an apology. You saw it coming. I didn't. Would you make a noise if you're hearing me? I'm hearing you. I should have recognized it. When I was 12, I had a terrible crush on the guy next door. He was 25. He used to do his muscle building in the backyard. I used to get splinters on my forehead looking through that fence. <laughs> Mom, where's this going? I'm trying to explain about crushes. They're a lot different than love. It happens, you know. It's, it's at a time of life when, uh, when, uh... When the hormones start flying around? <laughs> if you want to get scientific about it. See, when you're young and you start feeling all those intense emotions that you don't understand, it's really tough to turn to someone your own age who might reject you. So, you turn to someone older who's been very nice and attentive. And you mistake it for love. That's what's happening with Tom. It's really stupid. No, it's not. It's normal. And it's wonderful and painful all at the same time. And don't you ever tease him about it. My job is to let him down easy, and your job is to be understanding and to catch him at the first bounce. Tom, I'd really love to join you guys, but I have some homework to do. Ah, uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well... Uh, I thought we'd get started. Yeah. Would it be all right if we started with something slow? You know, nice and easy? <laughs> Can we talk first? Okay. Uh, let me see, where do I begin? Tom, something's been happening the past few days. You too? Oh, I'm so glad. That makes it so much easier. No, 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 strike that. <laughs> Sit down, Tom. Mm -hmm. Sit down. We'll start over. Somehow I get the feeling that you think that you're attracted to me. Yes, I guess I am. Is that wrong? No, it's not wrong. But it's not right, either. Aside from the age difference... Well, according to Geraldo... You kids watch too much television. <laughs> It's not just the age. We have so little in common. I came from New York. You were born here. I hardly speak Californian. <laughs> now, you know what I mean. <laughs> Half the time we talk with our hands. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Could you teach me to do that? Oh, Tom, Tom. <laughs> <sighs> Let's look at the reality of this. When you're 40, do you know how old I'll be? How old? None of your business. <laughs> what I mean is... Don't you think you should be going out with girls your own age? I don't know. They seem so silly sometimes. By the way, I want you to meet my family. And we're having a little get-together this Sunday. Shall we start? Tom! <laughs> Tom. Tom, it's very flattering that you like me. 
I'm glad. I hope you like me, too. And, Tom, I have a confession to make. There is a positive side to this. There is? Mm-hmm. It sure would be nice to have a husband again. <laughs> a husband? <laughs> My generation believes in commitment. All or nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and running a house and raising a daughter costs a lot of money. House payments, car payments, taxes, food, clothing. But... And then there's the orthodonture. One of these days, I'm going to have to get these teeth tightened. Your teeth tightened? Yeah, my age, they start to get loose. <laughs> Want to catch them before they end up in glass. <laughs> and then there's Lucy. Lucy's at an age where she really needs a father. A father? Yeah. Well, between the two of us, we could get her through college and pay for her wedding. Lucy's father? <laughs> yeah, of course. It sure would be nice having a man around the house again. I'd be Lucy's father? Of course, this really is a serious decision. It sure is. Maybe we should think about it. I've thought about it. I don't think it'll work. <laughs> you mean marriage is out of the question? Hey, it's nothing personal. It's just... The coach of our football team doesn't like us to have too many outside activities. <laughs> oh, well, I can understand that. <laughs> well, I guess there's no reason why we couldn't be friends. Okay, come on. You came here for a dance lesson. Let's do it. I just remember... <laughs> I really have to get going. We have practice tomorrow, and I can't stay out too late. <laughs> You. You're welcome. <laughs> mm. You're gonna have your teeth tightened. <laughs> <laughs>